Okay, that mates. My name is Mr. McGillicuddy, and welcome back once again to my channel. Today, we will be continuing the story, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. So, in our last episode, didn't really do much except a couple of rooms. Well, technically one room, because another one I couldn't get access to yet, because I didn't have the white upgrade or power. But we need to head back to Cobol to, uh, pretty much look for a compass that will help us navigate the abyss. Since there was one to do uncounted for when they were asked to be destroyed. But sadly, the Bedlam Raiders actually took Z. So, yeah, we got a lot of work to do. Let's get started, shall we? But before we do start doing all that work, I say we uh, have a talk with the uh, Patriots of the Salute. See what they have to say. Wrong way. Yeah, I decided to change Cal's outfit up again, along with BD and my lightsaber. I did change his hair, but I still get kept the beard on him, because... Why not? Ooh, there's a lot of food being served up. Served up. Hey, Cal. Good to see you. Hey, Monk. Hey, Cal. Got some info that might be useful to you. Let's hear it. Hey, Monk. Word is you're planning to rescue my new favorite droid. That's the plan. Well, before you go charging in there like a mudhorn through a moisture farm, so allow me to give you the lowdown. That raider base is inside a derelict Lucrehalt battleship. You ever seen one? A few times. Then you know how deadly those things are. It may be grounded, but that ship is still chock full of defense turrets and reprogrammed battle droids. How do you know all this? I read a lot. Listen, just grab Z and skedaddle before the whole hive comes swarming down on you. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the advice, Monk. Be careful out there. Now, I know you've got a lot on your plate, but one of my patrons set off to the swamp, and no one's seen her since. You don't think she went after Z, do you? Quite likely. And we both know that's Raider territory. I'll check it out. That'll put us all at ease, Cal. Zig's one of the good ones. Hope you're able to get Z back. That old research droid really livens things up around here. Some prospectors told me about a strange building. A distinctive entrance, so they say. Could be one of those meditation chambers. Yes, I was thinking the same. Let me know if you find anything, will you? No problem, Toa. Hey. So how'd you like playing on Coruscant? At first, I loved it. Dunder City's this melting pot of all these different struggles. A real vivid place, you know? After a few months of small gigs, though, I got bumped up to the popular clubs. It didn't take long for me to start hating it. Not your scene. It wasn't a, a conversation, you know? Those crowds just wanted to be able to say they'd seen the next big thing. Sounds like you were really on the rise. Well, my agents were ambitious. Scored me a deal that could have had me on billboards all over the court. But I said no. That takes guts. Well, so does slicing up raiders. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? This place is feeling alive, but I just know there's other tunes out there. Say, Cal, what do you make of this place? It's, uh, a little rough. Diplomatically put. What about you? You seem to spend a lot of time here. What do I think? I'll lay it out for you. This place violates about two dozen business fundamentals, giddily deploys false advertising practices, and is riddled with molds I daren't investigate. And yet, it serves drinks and doesn't close its doors when the Bedlam Raiders march into town. That's more than you can say for any other establishment on this rock. Another time. Hey, Two Locked. From the eye of the storm into the belly of the beast, you must go. Yeah, I know. What ails you, Sojourner? Just wondering how things would have been different if I could have stopped them from taking Z. Do your powers also include omniscience? No, but... Seek only where you wish to go, not where you long to have been. Regret is a mirage that leads many off the path. 
sod you on that. Listen, now that we're partners... Partners, huh? Business associates, best buds, call us whatever you will. Point is, our relationship is an investment. And we've got bigger fish to fry than these raider hacks. I'll get to those bounties. But if my friends are in trouble, they take priority. You're gonna get killed with that attitude, pal. But on a certain level, I can respect it. You're on a roll, pal. Got another tip for ya. What you got? A bounty droid named Mesh has been babbling on the brood comms about that lab on the shattered moon. Go shut him up, will ya? There is disgrace to the profession if you ask me. We'll see about him. Sooner or later. Attaboy. Get a move on, will ya? Those bounties won't collect themselves. Heard you and Boat are gonna take the fight to the Raiders. Word travels fast around here. A daring assault on the Raider Fortress by the mighty warrior and his gunslinging sidekick to save their droid companion. Yes! Z is lucky to have a friend like you. I'm really busy, Cal. Maybe later. Hey, Dana. Brock. Welcome back. Great to see you in one piece. Let's drink to... Quit wobbling your jaw. Sorry, Cal. Crocs, in a mood. Oh, I'm in a mood, all right. Job not go as you planned? It went fine. We made off with a big stinking drive core. Yeah, after Dana dropped a half-ton Durasteel brace on her. Ugh, it was involuntary. Shiver Pete meant business. You just choked under pressure. Choked? Cal, the woman almost got me killed. Practically wrote my damn epitaph. Aw, is it time for your nap, grumpy old Brock? <laughs> lunatic. Cross patch. Huh. Seems like the Raider problem here is getting worse on the daily. They've got a new leader. No surprise they're getting bolder. Well, I guess that's why they call it hazard pay. Not much to be done, is there? Talk like that's gonna get us both killed. Oh, yeah? Well, let's get his take. What do you propose we do, Cal? You should avoid the Raiders. Scrapping is dangerous, but they're worse. Kid's right, Dana. No more jobs on gang turf. Too risky with them raiders. Ha! <laughs> I ain't gonna be intimidated by a few goons with attitude. This is just what we scrappers do. We grab anything that looks valuable. And hope it isn't load-bearing. Yeah, I get it. But you're underestimating the raiders. Due respect, we've made it this far. And there's no way I'm quitting. We're... <laughs> right. No way we're quitting now. Thanks for keeping an eye out while we go after Z. If the Raiders return, we will make them regret it. Rick and we're gonna get along just fine. I think so. Go, Cal. Z needs you. Anyone tell you about the Mogu around the swamp? There's a Mogu there? Yep. And this one's a whopper. It can snap your arms off like puerco sticks. We'll see. Well, if you're crazy enough to try, your best bet is to avoid its mud throws. Good tip. I know things are pretty tough right now, but think about the old days. Remember that scrape on Dathomir? Kashyyyk? That was a close call. And now it's even more dangerous. I wonder what it'll be like on the other side of all this, you know? Assuming we live through it. Hey, I was thinking, now that Marin's back in the crew, we could always head to Coruscant. Not that I want to. Sorry about all that, folks, but uh, my brother had the air compression going in the background, and I just didn't want it to uh, be blasting while... Uh, you listen to the conversations. But yeah, we've got a whole lot of stuff we can do now. A whole lot of it. Oh, I can't talk to him. Oh yeah, we still got our new friend up at the garden. The one we found back with the uh, Jetta. Hey, there you are. These plants could use a little company, BD. A new specimen? Fascinating! Finish planting it, and I'll tell you what I know. Hi, Peely. 
So far, Kobo has been a welcoming home. And this rooftop's energy drew me towards it. You feel a connection to this garden? Yes. We will help each other grow. Looks like you've already started. <laughs> Divines? Yes, they sprouted overnight. But there's so much more to discover. If you plant new seeds, I'll tell you all about them. But, much like healthy roots, do not overextend yourself. I'll keep that in mind. the plants we have, and I'll clear more garden space in due time. Alrighty. There we go. I don't know why I couldn't get that. I think I'm gonna have to start growing everything here. If we want to get past those vines over there. Hmm. I will actually be planning things, but uh, in the meantime, I just want to uh, continue on the story. I'll do that in my spare time, but uh, yeah. As soon as I uh, get back, I'll be planting all those uh, garden seeds. I see you found a new seed. Plant one, and I'll tell you all about it. Alright, so we've got a bit of a choice here to make. We can either go after the rumors that we all heard about. Was it down in this area? We're gonna be heading down there anyway, so it's not too bad. But uh, let's see. Okay, we got five rumors here. Find maps of the swamps. Spot the public. Public. Back in the swamp. Another in the swamp, so we have to be going to the bark anyway. Oh wait, that's back on the moon. My bad. The one here. It's up this way. And I think we can actually get through here now. Yeah, I said we go for the meditation chamber. Some more additions up here would be nice. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, heading in the right direction. Yeah, we'll take out the meditation chamber and then we'll. Uh, Get back onto the main story. Besides, as soon as we take care of this one, another one might pop up. That actually will lead us to um, be one in the swamp. Prospector's folly, we call it. Pretty treacherous. Crawling with all kinds of dangers. Sounds like our kind of place. <laughs> Talk about okay, then okay, can't go through there, but we can go this way. I don't know why we're gonna go See this what's way. up ahead, buddy. This way before. Ah, we went past it anyway because we had to get past there. Let's sit down here first. Mm. Noodles coming, but. <sighs> this won't be easy. Think of the rewards, Shanna. Come on. Okay. Always taking the risk. But then again, this court has it, hey. 
Nice. I'm guessing they didn't make it. Healy would want to see these seeds in the garden, but she knows something too. Nice, we can actually slice security joys. As long as they're damaged. Assist. Okay, I'm not doing that again, cause yeah, that was useless. Well, before I go this way, let's head down here and pay attention to, to our fishing friend here. What are you fishing for? I'm out in the ferocious me. Uh, did you know the me was the very first fish we scuba caught? That must have been quite a day. Hey, that was barely ye high back then. Little scuba swam headlong into the creature's mouth. But, lucky as I was, I couldn't digest me before fishing fellows pulled us out. Sounds more like it caught you. Be a mock. I'll be requiring another from a crew. One who 
Who knows the curve of the sea? Oh, Cal. If I could only go back to that moment when I shook Captain Wet's rigid hand. If only I'd never stepped off my wee rock. But my encounter with Undan had given me a taste for the unknown. I couldn't resist the call of adventure. And I had to save my people. So, I left with the grapnel, thinking the business done. I would be a fisher for Captain Wit. Of course, my adventure had only begun. For just when the grapnel hit orbit. More trouble, I take it? Ah, but I've havered on long enough. I come back another time and I'll, I'll tell you more. Sorry, these people just love to talk. Alright. You know, I forgot to change the energy cut uh, the blade's colour. That's what oopsie on my part. Alright, let's get a move on, shall we? I thought we'd have to look down there later, but You know what? Let's have a look down there now. Yeah, I thought so. Like, mod stash and patch. Yeah, no thanks. I'm definitely like that. Like I think I prefer, like, full facial. I think I prefer, like, uh, full beards. Well, not full beards, but, um. I can't remember what that's called, but. At least a light curve that's around my face. Huh. Guess we need something to open these containers. A TIE fighter? Moving to sector... Wait, what's that? Looks like it's from the clone... It's incoming! Ooh. I've got a lot of backtracking in there since I get every power I can get. Now, yeah. and I didn't properly really know more about these seeds once we plant them. Well, it's a good thing that I dropped down here. <laughs> I thought I was going to find R7, but I guess I got distracted. Anyway, let's get back up there. Hey, 
Hey, not bad. Hmm. Too bad it came at the cost of a high price. Got something? Not much to look at. Yeah. Oi! I just crashed my hand and I actually got swiped at it. One way to take out a flame pro. I'm gonna have to go back. Hmm. Place is crawling with Imperials. Just gotta keep climbing. Hold on. Yeah, let's bring back this way. Down there. Did I miss something? Hmm. I say we head back down. So we've got a shortcut back up top anyway, so it's all good. Hello recommended we check this chamber out. Yeah. I guess this is what passed it. Chamber of Detachment. Welcome, Jedi. Our problems are often matters of perspective. By shifting our position, so too moves our thinking, and thus by reframing it, a problem may not seem so vexing after all. <laughs> Sounds familiar. <laughs> I never thought I would find this planet so energizing. There is something unique about it, no? I must show you a spring I found recently. The aura there is invigorating. Dagon boarded the first transport out. Nonsense. He would never. Wherever he is, we need him. This is not good. All right, over here. What have we got? Ah, we need to throw it into there. Okay, so let's look, have a look around for one. What was that? Huh. Okay. This planet is so different to Coruscant. I find its quiet almost deafening by comparison. And yet, there's a unique piece to it. Alright, how are we looking for? Ah, 
Um. Ah, something over there. All right, let's get this in there. Ah, I kind of have to start timing this. Okay, let's bring this back this way first. You doing okay, buddy? Alright, and when that comes back... We can actually burn this side over here. Over, over, over. BD. Alright, question is, how am I going to get that one up there? Wait, no, no, am I? I already figured that out. There it is. Burn up. Oh, that's the look like it. I'm sure Z can decrypt this for us. Yeah, but we've got to get it back first. Please, guys. Sorry about that. I had to deal with something on my computer. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's anything. Nah, it's a deep cannon down there. Alright, so, question is do I continue to explore up the mountain here? Or do we start going to find Z? Because I'm voting for going to find Z, because I say we may have to come back here at, at some other point in time. Especially so we can actually open up those canisters. With that said, let's quickly head back to Grease's bar, uh, to this place. Oh. 
see if this is actually anything else uh, a fr uh, archaeologist friend can actually tell us about some more meditation chambers. That's what I was trying to say. Alright, straight to Parlor and Saloon. something by you sure what have you got I, I heard some dredge operators discussing a strange structure in the swamp almost certainly another high republic chamber but i don't like my chances of conducting successful research on the raiders doorstep maybe i could check it out for you oh that'd be wonderful okay so i was right that's the first time in a long time something like that happened Would you like to buy my guide to Kobo? Not really. Good, because I haven't written it yet. But if you want to know something, I have all sorts of tips for Kobo visitors. Like what? Mm -hmm. Give information out for free? Come on, Cal. A frog's got to make a living. Uh-huh. It seems the raiders haven't forgotten Turgle's little trick. Shame that Z's the one footing the bill. We'll see about that. Yeah. Oh, don't tell me you plan on rescuing her. Okay, I won't tell you. <laughs> Do you really see visions? Not in the way you assume. I observe the world around me, and the voice within my mind speaks. Everyone at this outpost has a unique energy. Take Doma, for example. Strong, like a boulder. While waves of fear swirl around the cantina, they crash against our boulder and abate. She makes everyone feel safer. Yes! Once she asked me what would happen if she left Kobo, I told her what any with open eyes could see. The outpost would fall apart. You see it too. Not hard to read a room. So Coruscant turned out to be a creative dead end, huh? Exactly. Life's too big to waste on something that isn't working out. You understand? Yeah, I gotcha. So you took off? Mm-hmm. Abandoned my label, my penthouse, the promise of fame, all of it. Where'd you go? Left my agents a note and hopped on the next transport to Kuat. An industrial world. Just like your home world, right? Yep. New and familiar, all at the same time. That's pretty much a bold move, if I say so myself. But then again, I suppose most people are not really one for the high life. Word has it that a brood gunslinger named Mayan Kaur has been wandering around the east side of the valley. She shoots from the hip, but her aim ain't half bad. So close into the kill as soon as you spot her. I'll keep that in mind. Busy, busy. Hey, Monk, where'd you and Grease meet? I probably shouldn't say. Oh. Is it gambling den? That's right. I was tending bar for a sabbat game that Grease frequented. He was looking for a partner. I was looking for a change of venue. We got to talking, and before long, that was that. You could have found a safer place to make a credit. I'd choose the Bedlam Raiders over my old line of work any day of the week. Well, let's hope you don't have to make that choice. <laughs> what? Uh. Hey, Cal. We've been wondering something. Uh. Yeah. We've been wondering. How's a guy like you end up in a place like this? Engine trouble. <laughs> Don't we know it? Well, you're not wrong. Do you know about the bile mall lurking in the mountain? Can't say I do. May seem peaceful, but when disturbed, it will charge and trample you. Its thick hide makes it resistant to even the strongest weapons. How would you approach it? Mind your feet. Its spray attack will leave pools of acid on the ground. Good to know. Thanks. Yeah, I think we actually saw that, but we just left. How do you like Pyloons? It is like an oasis. A dirty oasis. 
Tell Grease I said that and you will regret it, Droid. <laughs> we'll speak later. Be seeing ya. Monk mentioned you met in a Sabacc den? Oh yeah, we did. Because I'm smart. See, those gangsters might be trouble. But they pay for top talent. Is Monk that good? Oh yeah. In more ways than you can know. But don't dare tell him that. Besides, I ain't gambled since the brute took you prisoner. Much. Much. <laughs> oh boy, boy. God love you, crazy boy. Alright. This one actually has to do it for today's episode. Sorry if I didn't get too action packed out there, but, well, what can you do? Especially when you just keep walking around doing other stuff. Okay, but next episode, we pretty much have to start. Let's just remove that beacon. You two start heading this way. Yeah, head down that way, and then we'll head to where we need to go. So, I'll actually start heading. Head to the meditation point here, and then we'll see where we go from there. So, yeah, that's what we'll have to do for me, people. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please remember to hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and show support for the channel. I very much appreciate that. There is a said, I'm going to plant some seeds in the garden up there, but I don't want to talk to the pillar yet, because I want to say that for you guys. Big girl again, and I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care of yourselves, and drive safely out there, people. Bye bye, take care, and have a good time. Finally, those pesky Jawas have stopped poking around my claim. I saw some Jawas in the forest. <laughs> well, you ain't seeing them no more. They made themselves a little village on the far side of the valley. No one's heard a peep from them since. Not one Utini. Maybe I'll see how they're doing. Really? Yeah. Aren't you, Mr. Goody Goody? Wow, someone's a grouch. And they're going out of room. Ah. Thanks for bringing Asher Didi to the outpost. They know how to party. <laughs> no problem. Alright, bye bye.